Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Adventures with Amira. Today I have a new Dollar Tree haul for you guys, so let's get into it. I wanted to show these to you guys last time I was there, and then I forgot because my daughter ran off with some of these. But they have all of these little squishies in right now, and they have a few full-size fruit ones that just came in as well, which I'll share with you that I picked up today. So the first one is this adorable little chocolate donut, which I thought was super cute. And I like that it has the little bite off the side. She likes to pretend that these are like food for her little zoom zoom. This one's a blue one that's decorated. And then they have this pink one with chocolate frosting. And these are all corded. Like they have these little cords to hang them from. But I probably will keep one of these myself. This is a little purple one. And then they also have the little pink one. Like I said, super cute. And then the full size ones that I picked up today were this lemon. And it's super squishy and you can see how it kind of slowly comes back out and then they also had an orange which this is just like those older stress relief balls that used to be out they were shaped like globes and things like that but these are actually a lot softer than that actually they do have a little bit of a vanilla scent to them it smells kind of strange to me but my daughter was saying that's how the original squishy smelled so i wouldn't know they have a bunch of new bonnie bell products in they have different eyeliners mascaras this is a clear eyebrow or mascara gel you can actually use this as clear mascara for those of you that have like teen girls that don't like a lot of makeup a clear mascara is really nice for that I may try as a brow gel. I've never used brow gel before, so I'll see what I think about that. But I figured it was worth a try. And then they have this little Bonnie Bell eyeliner, and this is in black. And it is actually like a retractable eyeliner, which I like better. They seem to always be a little softer for my eyes. I also found this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. And I have a lot of e.l.f. brushes, but I don't have one of these. And this is one of those brushes you can use back and forth between powder and foundation liquid foundation products so i picked up one of these they also had some of these bonnie bell face wipes hopefully they'll do well on my sensitive skin i picked up some more of these acne treatment pads we keep these in the house they're just really good they don't irritate my skin too much i don't really care for the scent now because they changed it a while back and it's more of a floral scent but i really like these and they do seem to work I actually bought a different brand at Walmart that was much more expensive, and I don't like those at all. They don't have the same texture as these, and then they just almost have too much fluid in them, so that you have to almost wring them out every time you want to use them, which, who has time for that? Another beauty item I got was this brush here, and I was thinking about using this for dry brushing. They have a natural, I think it's a boar's bristle brush or something like that, but... I picked up one of these because I just want to try it. I've never done dry brushing, but it's supposed to be really good for your circulation. So I had those in the store I was at today. And then I got some close-up toothpaste. I love this toothpaste, and sometimes they're out of it, so I went ahead and picked some of this up. My daughter found this little car for my son. She actually got one for herself, and I'll go ahead and remove the little tab for you so you can see what it does. It's supposed to light, yeah, it changes lights. So she thought that was pretty cool. I'm sure they'll use them in one of their things they're working on in their room. They're, they always have these cities built, and right now they're working on a Disney cruise line thing they're doing. So this will probably be a car parked at the port knowing them. But anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. She got one in red. She got this one for my son in green. And then they also had them in blue and one other color. I picked up some more tissue. As you guys know, I have been sick, and it's about to be allergy season here in Florida, too, so I like to have these on hand. And the Kleenex ones, they are super soft. I picked up this for my husband. He's always washing the car, so I thought maybe he would like to use this. Supposedly, it absorbs lots of water while you're drying your car. also got in some all-purpose caulking because in our master bathroom, we have a tiled shower, and one of the shower edges looks like it's coming loose from the wall a little bit probably where it just needs to be resealed so i picked that up for him to be able to work on that this coming weekend i got these electronic wipes because these will be good for our computers i like to use these on my cell phone as well i picked up one of these led light bulbs for my daughter's little lamp in her room hopefully this works well and supposedly it should last for 22 years so this should take her through to college <laughs> i don't know if i believe that but we'll see speaking of she found these little toys here one for 
my son and one for her that way they know whose is whose apparently that's important oh, especially when they're all playing together like who cares but anyway when you throw these things they make kind of a whistling sound and they love to throw these back and forth when we're outside they had a lot of these scunchy products in these are the extra large hair ties but she really liked the satin finish on these they also had a bunch of them in fluorescent colors for you girls that have thicker hair and they had a bunch of new headbands that were in as well and this is a name brand like you would find at Target or Walmart so these actually are a little bit more durable than the other kinds that they sell I found a hole punch which we've been needing this I had one and I do not know what she did with it it's probably hoarded up in her room somewhere that girl has more crafts my craft stuff just disappears and normally <laughs> my helper has it somewhere so I figure I'll hide this one away in my office or something that way I know where this one is and then I got some more scissors for me because She's been cutting lots of cardboard for all her projects lately. I'll have to show you guys some of her projects. girl is an engineer at heart for sure so I got myself a pair and her a pair so that when they're cutting they have something to use other than my nicer scissors I got some more mayonnaise I'm trying the Hellman's mayonnaise this time or the this is the Heinz mayonnaise which is pretty good this one doesn't expire till May so I'll probably get another one I'm actually looking for one that doesn't have soybean oil as the first ingredient now I tried an olive oil one a while back and I just I couldn't it just tasted so strange to me so if you guys know of any good mayonnaise that does not have soybean oil let me know in the comments down below I've been using a lot of coconut products coconut milk coconut cream coconut oil in this new eating plan that I've been trying out for the new year and they had both of these there for only a dollar so that's a pretty good deal and these say they're two different brands but if you look at the company where they're coming from they're both made by the same manufacturer in New Jersey um, the coconut milk itself is a product of Thailand I got my son one of these little 2018 planners just because he's so busy with school and they have so many different homework assignments I'm hoping this will help him remember to turn things in on time sometimes I feel like I'm just constantly reminding him I'm sure you guys understand with middle school is just so much to keep up with I, I get overwhelmed myself far more than he does and sometimes you know when they have substitutes and then they couldn't turn stuff in at the right time and then they forget when the teacher comes back so I'm hoping if he jots things down in here it will help us keep up with everything a little bit easier they had some really pretty gift bags in so this is actually a gift bag I picked up for her before from Target and now they have it at the Dollar Tree her last one when we evacuated from the hurricane it kind of got shuffled around in the car and it was stuffed full of stuff I think she had about a hundred zoom zoom stuffed into this thing and it busted in the seam on the side so when she saw it today at the Dollar Tree she was so excited because they didn't have them at Target anymore and normally you can only find zoom zoom stuff like at the Disney store or whatever in these bags so she was happy to find that and then I found this gorgeous elephant bag how beautiful is that I just love this bag it's so pretty to me I love the little hearts on the legs I love the scroll work and the little fleur-de-lis pattern across his back I mean this is so pretty and these colors I'm all about it and then finally look at this sign I mean is that not like the cutest little Easter sign ever I love the little signs that they have at the Dollar Tree they are so pretty and they are so on trend and everything and this looks like it cost a lot more than a dollar I've seen something similar at Pottery Barn so I just fell in love with this little Easter sign thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you get notifications when I do new hauls for you guys talk to you soon bye bye